Pisces, hello my loves and welcome back to the channel. Supreme gratitude for clicking on the video. We are going to tap into your weekly energy reading. Find out what's going to be happening for you for the week going forward. Supreme gratitude for uh, watching the video last week. Y'all, I'm trying to lighten up. Okay. Supreme gratitude for watching the video last week. Y'all did numbers. Y'all bonus reading was on point. Okay. Supreme gratitude. You can have Pisces in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or North Node. Please make sure that you hit the like button, drop a comment below, and hit the subscribe button. So you can turn on the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload another video. All right. Yes, I do offer personal readings. Please click the description box below to visit my website to book your personal reading. Your readings, as it says, will be issued within 24 to 48 hours. If you reach out to me and I have availability to give you same day, I will. If I don't have any availability to give you same day, you can pay for a same day reading. Um, ground yourself. Ground yourself. Mm -hmm. Your base chakra is here. You know that that's your base. That's the, that's your lower spine, Kundalini. Your base chakra. Your base chakra is showing up in your reading. All right, you got sacrifice, victory, and success, and patience. Okay, so I'm hearing I had to teach you this lesson. That's what I'm hearing. So I feel like Pisces, this is you. You had to teach someone a lesson. Hangman, your energy. Yeah, you, you, you had to go within and pause and just not move. You had to you had to wait something out. You had to take somebody to the edge of the cliff, but not let them fall. Yeah. Okay, let's clarify. Sacrifice for the collective of Pisces, I should. Chariot, Queen of Pentacles, Lovers. Okay. I mean, this your whole reading in one deck, but let's go. So, we're going to go with the past energy that's showing up at the bottom of the deck. So, you have the chariot card. Someone is determined to move forward. Someone is determined to get their wing, get the wind beneath their wings. Someone is determined to, to get on point. You could have been focusing on finances, okay? Like, just completely took your energy off of someone, okay? Focus on finances, but this situation was here. Lovers, divine connection, okay? Some of you guys, you could be married. With the Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups here, you could be married to this person if you are not married. It's just a long-term committed relationship between you and this individual here, okay? But you had to step back, all right? Some of you guys could be Pisces, Aquarius, Aquarius, Pisces, Cuss. Pisces, Aquarius, Cuss. You had to step back and go within and put your put your guards up. Like, what are we doing here? How did, how did you feel it was okay to be able to put me in this particular situation, to put me in this energy? How did you feel it was okay to treat me this way, right? World card, boom. And the reason that I pulled this is because of so many major arcana, so many major transformations have taken place in the past for you to get here right now, to get this victory and this success, right? So with the world card here, it's like, okay, you know what? On Pisces time, I'm ready to come out of this energy. I'm ready to come out of this energy. I'm ready to bring in harmony. I'm ready to reunite. I'm ready to restore the flame. Judgment. Yeah. 
So you, a cycle is ending because someone is going within like, okay, you know what? We're going to figure this out. You got the moon. <laughs> Your energy here. Now, there could have been a lot of secrets and, you know, a lot of things have been illuminated in this time. <clears throat> I feel like you're in your head trying to make sure that you're doing the right thing because there was a third party situation here. Okay? So, when you go in and you look at this third party situation, it's like, okay, I, I feel like you're trying to move past this with the energy of saying, I'm not about to be checking your phone running behind you, doing this, doing that. I'm not about to be doing all of this stuff just to make sure. I'm not about to lose myself in this particular connection. So if I do decide to go for it, it's going for it because this is something that I've been guided to do, okay? But, you know, you're not walking away. You're not walking away from this person. Not um, Eight of Cups in Reverse and the Fool card. There is going to be a new beginning. There's going to be a fresh start, okay? Someone is going to take a blind leap of faith and go towards this. But, but, in going towards this situation, someone is, is, is like, you know what? I'm not, I'm not, you're not the same person that you was. You're not fighting for this as, as, as once that you were. You're, you're not in this energy. You're like, I, I, I shouldn't have to fight. You either going to come and, and be right or you're not going we're not going to do anything at all. This is something that you're not expecting or your person is not expecting. This new beginning that's happening here. You could be dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, another Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So the sacrifice, right? You you doing things completely different here. You got the 9 of swords here. All right? In reverse. So someone is just like, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not losing, I'm, I'm getting so heavily. I'm not losing myself behind this connection. All right? Somebody just gave up on overthinking the process. Someone gave up on stressing about this. Someone gave up on why me? How could this be? And so on and so forth. You're no longer stressing about this connection. Yes, this is someone that made you very happy. You could have had a family with this person again. Could be married to this person with the Ten of Cups here. But this was like a divine connection. You know, it's rooted and booted. They left you. They left you hurt. They left you wounded. They left you in an energy of feeling like I knock all this stuff over. Right? But the passion is being restored. Okay? And there's going to be communication this week in reference to, you know, hey, you know what? I'm in a different place now. You know? And I feel like, you know, you're going to make that... Communication. Somebody here has fire and um, aspect somewhere in their chart. Let's clarify victory and success. All right. So you got the seven of swords in reverse. You got the two of cups here. Yeah. Y'all. Yeah. You got the three of pinnacles. I'm sorry. The three of swords. Page of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. Victory and success. Someone is 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 like, you know, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna remove my energy. Whatever this is with this person, whatever like reason, you know, you are the reason that this person breathes, right? Again, if you got a family and, and there's been something that, like you are the reason. It doesn't matter how much money somebody got, it don't matter what, like you are this person's reason. Right? Without you, they have nothing left. Okay? Without you, they, they lose their whole family. They lose everything that they've created. You know what I'm saying? And you know that. It doesn't matter. Like, you could, you could be the breadwinner or you could be the one that has the children. But together, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm a movement by myself, but I'm a force when we're together. That's what I'm hearing. So, yeah, you're not, you're not, because you guys are soulmates, right? There's something that needs to happen. There was a third party situation here. There really, really was. And there, I feel like the third party wasn't somebody that they just met. This was somebody that been around. This could actually be somebody that you've asked them about in the past. And they have, like, you know, no, no, it ain't like that. And I don't know this person and da-da-da this and da-da-da that, right? Um, but, yeah. I feel like it, 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 it's going to work out, you know? You're, you're going to get through this this moment. Wheel of Fortune is here, okay? Um, the wheel is here turning in your favor, all right? The Knight of Cups energy is here. 
with the King of Wa King of Wands. Some of you guys could be dealing with the fire side. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They can have it in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or North Node. But there's some fire here. There's an age difference between the two as well. Either age difference or maturity difference. Okay. All right. So let's clarify. Patience. Okay. You got the King of Swords, the Three of Cups, and the Two of Wands, right? So, so there's going to be a conversation about truth being had here. Somebody is standing in their truth, all right? You didn't become the King of, you didn't become the King of Wands. You didn't come, become the King of Swords out of nowhere. King of Swords, Queen of Swords, they're built, okay? And they're built for tough, all right? And that's what you want to call it, for tough, they're built, Okay, King of Swords is somebody that has been through an awful lot. Somebody that's sure of themselves, that stands for it and speaks the truth, no matter how people feel about it. It's not that somebody's trying to be facetious or demeaning, but they're gonna stand in their truth at all times, right? They're going to like you're not gonna you're not gonna just left hand me. You're not gonna just left wing me, right? So I feel like um, after you speak your truth. Okay, after the truth is being spoken, there's going to be this, this celebration that's coming together. You know, this, th th this could be you and your person speaking with a counselor or speaking with somebody and you're speaking your truth while you guys are sitting down, speaking with somebody, family, counselor. Someone's making a choice to look within. It took them a while to get here. Someone's making a choice to look at themselves and, and accept accountability. It's, it's like, <laughs> let me see, let me, I'm, I'm going to try to give it to you, okay? It's like if this person had you in a third-party situation. They know that they had you in a third-party situation, but they haven't been taking accountability on how much this has damaged not only you, but the family. You know what I'm saying? Like, like somebody just thought what we called down south, they thought ish was sweet. You know what I'm saying? We're like, ain't hey, ish ain't sweet. You know what I'm saying? Like, you done got us in a whole bunch of ish. You know, are you really taking accountability for what it is that we have going on here? Are you really taking accountability for what's, what's popping? You know? It's going to take you guys some time to get back on track. It's not going to be an immediate, you know what I'm saying, thing because Pisces, you love them. Oh, you love them so, but the damage has been done, but you're willing to, you're willing to fight for it. So do some aligning of your base chakra, the base chakra, was it the whole base? <laughs> do some aligning of your base chakra, Pisces. Let's see. If you would like to know if this, you know, is your personal reading, um, click the description box below to book a personal reading. I think if you use the code BOSS, you get, um, you use the code BOSS, you get 15% off the 45-minute phone readings. Those are not same day unless I have availability. No, you're not going to get a discount and the exact same day. At, no. But um, if I have availability, I'll get you in the same day. I have no problem. But generally, you'll have them the next day. Okay. Take, you can't grow in your comfort zone. Stepping into the unknown is trusting the universe. Go for it. Stepping into the unknown is trusting the universe, okay? So, you don't know how things are going to go. I'm hearing people in your ear. Mm-mm. That's a no, Pisces. Mm-mm. Don't do that. People in your ear. Oh, well, this and oh, well, that. And, you know, too too many people in your business. It's community business. It's no longer personal business, right? You don't, you don't do that. Okay. Guilt, shame, and deep remorse over past actions and words are hindering this situation. Yeah, somebody's just really going within this week and taking that, taking that time. You know what I'm saying? Um, sacred space, time out, 
Clear your energy space brings clarity. All right. You had the base chakra. Align yourself. Do some meditations. It is cold. If you still have any hot moments in the day, walk outside. Ground yourself. Lessons from Mars. Mars is the planet of passion. Women are from Venus. Men are from Mars. Remember? Okay. Purely physical sexual attractions. Fire and passions run fast and burn fast without other elements. Okay. So... It could you could have gotten to a point, and then I'm again. I mean, be what I'm hearing. You could have gotten to a point in your connection. Um, Energy is fluid, so reverse the roles as need be. This could be you and your person, or this person in this connection. But I feel like it's you. You could have gotten to a point in your connection where okay, you was doing the adult things about it. You know what I'm saying? The physical attraction was there, but then it was just kind of. You know, like, a little lame in every other aspect, I want to say. Like, I don't, you know. This connection has a very strong empathic and telepathic soul bond. Your soul bond, your soulmates, okay? And in divine time. <coughs> That's what the patience was that showed that. So in divine time and everything is going to work out for you, okay? So Pisces, um, I'm happy to hear this. You're moving forward in the right energy, I say.